Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Counterside video. Alright, today's video we're going to talk about the Awaken units coming in global server. And a lot of you guys have asked me, Hey Guitar Rock, can you make an updated video for the upcoming Awaken units in global? Yeah, sure. So this will be the video for that. Uh, let's talk about a couple of things. Uh, if you guys are not aware, Awaken Maria is should be coming somewhere this month. We've already looked at the roadmap previously, right? And I think a lot of players are very worried and very concerned about the Guilty Gear collab. Which, again, fair, fair, um, you know, fair point, right? I think a lot of people are concerned because they are scared that they might add one Awaken or two in the Guilty Gear collab. Keep in mind, the Guilty Gear uh, is first time for us global players. Uh, if you guys are playing on global, I'm not sure if C is getting it. C, maybe C is no, not getting that. But keep in mind, uh, for KR server, it's their second time. All right, so more than likely, of course, they would want them to spend, right? So, of course expect some sort of, you know, Awaken to be added alongside of these characters. I, I do think that there will be one or two Awaken that will be added alongside. So, take it with a grain of salt, everything that we, we talk about right here. Uh, there's a chance that they would, I would change the priority later on. So for now, let's talk about the upcoming uh, global substream. Okay, so first things first, uh, they already, basically they say this is the upcoming substreams. Uh, based on this, we can know what Awaken units we are getting. So you can see, Moonless Knight, Iron Knight, 3 for 3, Neverland, Nevermore. Okay, so let me jump into my C server account and let's go into the substream. And then you can have a look right here in the substream, right? So the next one we're getting is uh, if we are following the order. I'm not sure if uh, that's the order or something, but Moonless Knight is this one. There will be the Lulu one. And then we're going to get Iron Knight, which if you guys are not familiar this is where the curious one all right you can farm for this character called warden warden is really really strong highly recommend warden and curian so uh this is going to be a character that i highly recommend you guys to obtain uh warden and curian definitely for sure uh you will not regret all right you will not regret getting them uh very very strong characters and then after that uh, what's the other two again iron knight uh moonless knight iron knight three to three neverland nevermore okay so Neverland, Nevermore, as you can see, uh, 3 to 3 is the Miracle Investigation Council. We have Biblid, we have uh, a couple of new characters, and then Neverland, Nevermore is Awakened Sigma, right? So, uh, seems to be in line. We are most likely going to follow the order of C server in that case. So based on what I can see right now, we are going to get Awakened Maria, all right, because she's going to be, uh, she's already revealed in the roadmap. Awakened Maria first, she's happening right after this, uh, maybe somewhere next week even, right? So maybe she's coming next week, followed by Kyurian. Okay, he's going to be the next character after Awaken Maria, followed by Awaken Sigma. Now, I've done individual videos for Awaken Sigma and for Kyurian. Uh, I would highly suggest you guys to check it out because uh, there's only so much I can cover in this video, right? In terms of the skills and where they are good or how strong they are in a particular stage PvE, PvP. Uh, you gotta watch the demonstration of how I use them, right? So, but hopefully this is much more of an overview of all of these three characters. Now keep in mind, all of them have different roles. Uh, very surprising, right? So Maria or Awakened Maria, Gargantua Maria right here is an Awakened Ranger counter. Kyurian is an Awakened Sniper soldier. While Sigma, Awaken Sigma, is an Awaken Striker Mac. See how different they are. Completely different. All three of them, completely different. Mac, Soldier, uh, Counter, right? So by now, I think most of you guys probably watching this, you're running mostly counters. And if you plan to play uh, counter units, Awaken, Maria, what can she bring to the table ideally, right? So. She's a bit more niche, right? Awaken Maria, definitely she's waifu and stuff. Definitely a little bit more niche in terms of the meta. Uh, you won't use her much in PvE, sadly. So she's going to be much more of a PvE character. And that's not to say that she's bad. That's just because a lot of players probably already have Awaken Seoyun, probably already have uh, Awaken uh, like Ministra or Awaken Yuna. Those are more generalized in PvE. Awaken Maria, uh, what she does is she has this portal. Why did I exit that I was showcasing? Uh, she has this portal where she creates a portal where she's deployed, right, or near the back of the ship. And this portal, what it does is it creates um, an entry point for you to be able to exit on the other side. All right, so you can see this is the portal uh, if, the, if the ally enters here and will be able to exit from the other side. So it's sort of a cool 
cheese thread if you're trying to cheese certain stages. Other than that, how strong is she? Now, damage-wise, she is a little bit behind uh, Awakened Seo Yun. All right, if we were to compare Awakened Maria to Awakened Seo Yun, I would say damage-wise, she's a little bit behind. So what she provides is mostly in that particular Chi strats. Uh, keep in mind, she gains 100% crit damage and teleports back to the rare most area of the map whenever her HP falls below 70% and 40% HP. Now, this 100% crit damage is insane. All right, if you can activate this, uh, there are chances that she will be able to do more damage than Awakened Seo Yun because this is a lot of crit damage, all right? And also she has a lot of uh, ability here that gives uh, damage. But uh, she's more of stun, you can see. Uh, enemies within range are stunned for four seconds. Incoming healing reduced by 100%, similar to Awakened Seo Yun. Awakened Seo Yun is much more of a healing reflux. A stun target receives additional damage equal to 20% of its max HP, but doesn't include bosses. So overall, I think Awakened Maria, um, do you need her? Now, usually this is where I ask myself, uh, if I were a new player, I'm trying to reroll. Do you reroll for Awakened Maria? I would say no. Uh, there's a lot of characters that can... There's much more beginner friendly. And that's not to say that she's bad. It's just that um, she's much more complex to use. You gotta understand the mechanics better, right? And she's more of a very advanced strat, very advanced deck uh, character. Uh, I would say new players, if you are new, focus on Ministra right now on Global Server, we still have the Ministra banner. Uh, and a lot of other characters basically are going to be much more universal than her. Uh, that's just my humble opinion. Uh, I do think that, you know, because it's not really because she's bad, but because there's a lot of Awakened Rangers that comes before her, like Awakened Seoyun, Ministra, and I might, I might be missing a few more, but uh, I think the Awakened Ranger is quite, is quite filled, right? You, we have Awakened Regina later on, right? You have a Ministra, Awakened Seo and Awakened Lee Soo Yeon right now. And those are all pretty staple. Awakened Lee Soo Yeon, you know, uh, be able to deal with air units in PvP very, very strong. Ministra, PvE Queen. Uh, Awakened Seo Yeon, Raids Queen. Uh, Awakened Regina later will be really, really strong as well. So, you sp <laughs> the Ranger space is just so tight, right? I don't think there's a, a chance for Awakened Maria to stand out compared to the other Awakens. Uh, Again, that's not to say that she's bad, it's just wouldn't recommend her for new players. Now let's talk about the next one, which is uh, Kyurin. Now Kyurin, my personal favorite, I love Kyurin a lot. Uh, I do think Kyurin is really, really flexible. Uh, believe it or not, I've made ton of videos for Kyurin. Please check it out, especially the damage comparison video. I'll try to pin it in the comment section and in the, in the video somewhere in the description so you guys can see it. Uh, I do like Kyurin uh, in PvE. He does more damage than Awakened Seo based on my testing uh, consistently as well. Very, very strong. Has one of the furthest range characters in the game. All right. So like I mentioned before, Kyurian is very unique, uh, very comparable to Awakened Seo Yun, except for he's a dude, <laughs> of course. And also he is a sniper as opposed to a ranger. But uh, Awakened Seo has the like rifles behind her that helps her do damage. Kyurian has this particular uh, what do you call this? Warden in front of them. And notice they have these eyes. They can detect stealth units. All right. Very, very good to counter Albion. So Albion in PvP, pretty much dead. I mean, like, they are not dead, but Kyurian is like a very, very good counter. Uh, detect stealth is always something that, you know, very, very good in PvP. His special skill, this particular one, does a lot of damage. Oh my god, it does so much. I see this skill can one-shot a lot of Awakened Ranger, a lot of characters. The ultimate skill, insane value. All right, if you play PvP a lot, the ultimate skill is probably one of the strongest ultimates I've ever seen a, an Awakened character has. It does so much damage. It push you back and it hits the entire map all the way to the enemy ship. Uh, let's show you guys the description here. You'll be surprised. Look at this, right? Look at this. Kyurian, uh, people are actually surprised by this. Look at this uh, ultimate skill, right? Notice right here at the level five, damage, plus 180%. Huge, huge number right there. All right, so of course, reduce the amount of increase by 60% for each enemy damaged by the first attack. So basically, it hits the entire line. So basically, it's the def defender is in front, there's a ranger behind, there's a sniper behind. So uh, it, it reduces significantly. But if you hit directly any character, they usually pretty much die from this particular uh, ultimate skill. It's just insane and if the elite wardens die after casting ultimate skill he will be able to summon summon two elite wardens as well now is awakened kyurian a must have now this is something that we want to talk about a little bit right so my um 
My advice to you is it depends on where you are at in the game. If you are looking to build a soldier team, I would say Awaken uh, Kyurian is very very strong. Uh, Kyurian is the only Awakened soldier right now. And with him, there's a lot of plays that comes into the PvP and you know, you will see, you will start seeing some shift towards the soldier team. They are definitely going to get the flexibility moving forward. Uh, he cannot be lifted, he cannot be CC'd, he cannot be knocked back. Uh, just very very uh, annoying. All soldier units immune to confusion as well. Harap cannot take them away. So he just solves a lot of issue that soldiers has initially. Now in PvE, uh, Kyurian is actually really good. Like he's one of my dive uh, support because he of his range against Britra, very very strong. Uh, inhibitor, I use him as well. Uh, I also use him in all my dive uh, up to dive 50. I'll have my guides later on. But yeah, he fits so much roles. Uh, a lot of value goes into this guy. Uh, insane, insane, insane value. Uh, again, the only downside of using Kyurian is gears because some people might not have soldier gears. But I do think that's something that eventually uh, or if you've been playing since day one, I think by now if you've been farming gears every single day, you should have at least a couple of soldier gears, right? I don't think, I don't see how that's a, a big issue. Worst come to worst, you can always run Spectral Blaze on him, he will still be good on PvE. But for PvP, you want skill haste if you can, so that he can cast his special skill and ultimate skill more often. But yeah, based on my testing in PvE, uh, attack speed, Spectral Blaze works wondrous on him. Uh, which makes him a very low budget character, uh, compared to a lot of uh, like Awaken Maria and stuff where you got you're gonna need much more uh skill hay 72% per se. Uh for him in PvP, yes, but in PvE, you don't need that good of a gear uh for him to do a lot of damage. And you know, uh it all comes down to a couple of things. Do you need a damage dealer? Like if you probably already have Awaken Suyun, that is going to feel similar similar role to Kyurian. But you know, that depends on you. I do think his uh where he shines is going to be in PvP. Now let's talk about Awaken Sigma. Uh, Awaken Sigma might be the least useful out of these three. And that's not because Awaken Sigma is bad, right? Because if you plan to run mech in PvP, uh, you know, we already have Evolve 1, which is like insanely toxic in PvP. We already have Awaken Horizon, which is until now still the meta. Awaken Sigma is like uh, somewhere in between. And I know she got buffed recently, right? She received a little bit of buff in the uh, KR side of things. I'm not sure if the buff ever comes to C server yet, but she's much more centric towards using this particular skill. And if this particular thing dies, the what is that? That tower behind her, she will get insane amount of attack speed uh, that you can see. I don't know if I'll be able to show that. Let me see if I can show that. Let me summon some unit and try to see if we can. Okay, so look at. Oh no, I don't think I can show that as much. Yeah, I, I can't show it right here. But basically, if this tower thing dies, she will be able to have insane amount of attack speed, do a lot of damage in PvP, and therefore be able to, you know, immune to immortality. She has some sort of immortality for a few seconds as well because of that. Uh, ultimate skill is very strong. One of the strongest ultimate skill in the game. Similar to Awaken Lee Su Yon's one, hit the entire map and also silence the enemy. You can see skill seal right there. Now in PvE, I don't see a place in Awaken Sigma because you, she will always be deployed at the back of the ship so the tower will always be back there. So similar to E1, I doubt you will use Awaken Sigma in any stage unless you are willing to manual, then sure, Awaken Sigma is definitely uh, can be used in those stages. But if you are just looking to auto most of the time, I do think that the value falls short uh, significantly. Uh, in terms of gears, you can go for skill haste or attack speed depending on what you want to achieve, right? I think quite a flexible mech unit for sure. Definitely more of a PvP unit than a PvE unit. And I I think it's good. Awaken Sigma is a very solid unit. Uh, similar to Awaken Jushun, very solid, but not broken by any means, you know? Definitely strong in PvP, uh, very flexible. Uh, she doesn't get banned as often as Awaken Horizon and E1. If you run mech team, you have an option if you pull for her, right? So you have an option with your Coffin 6. And yeah, I think she gives a lot of flexibility uh, for Mac users. You know, very, very good thing. Uh, there's nothing wrong if you want to pull for her. But let's say you have limited resources between Curian, between uh, Awaken uh, Sigma, and between Awaken Maria. I highly recommend Curian. I vouch for him for sure uh, because you get much more use of Curian overall in PvP and in PvE. 
Uh, second would be I would say Awaken Maria and Sigma will be second, depending on which one your, your focus is on. If you are a counter player, go for Awaken Maria. And if you are a Mac user, go for Awaken Sigma. I do think you will get slightly more value out of Awaken Maria than Awaken Sigma most of the time. Uh, the truth is, I think E1 and Awaken Horizon, they are just really, really strong. And I notice Global seems to always have them alternately. So getting those two characters for your Awaken Mac team is going to be much more beneficial. Uh, that's just what I think. So definitely, that's my humble opinion uh, in terms of priority. If you guys are looking to only pull one character later on, it's going to be Kyrian, uh, followed by Awaken Maria, followed by Awaken Sigma in that particular order. Now this is for, for the meta and overall usage for sure, right? But it really depends on on you guys, like what characters you have, etc. It's hard for me to give like a general advice, but ideally, this is what I would lean towards uh, for new players. Of course, still get Ministra uh, if you can right now in global server. I believe Ministra is right there, and also there's a young harem. So make sure you guys. There's plenty of characters right here. Awaken Horizon is here. Uh, Ministra is here. Replacer Queen is here. Awaken Jake is here, right? So plenty of. Plenty of options that you guys can pick from uh, if you are new right now. It's a good time to start, I think. But in the future, you know, that's, uh, that, those are the three Awaken. Uh, don't spend everything. Wait until the Guilty Gear announcement if there's an Awaken unit or not. Because there's a chance that there could be. Again, because it's a rerun for KR server, I think they will add a little bit of Awaken or a little bit of new characters for them to try to spend more to incentivize the KR players, you know. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see for that. I'll update you guys when that comes. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to, you know, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Feel free to ask any questions. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe. Give this video a like. Have a nice day. Goodbye.